what's up everybody it's Ferrari Steve and today I'm gonna do an unboxing video for this brand new Ecobee 3 smart thermostat now these were actually only announced uh, just Tuesday of this week they've started taking pre-orders and won't start shipping until later this month however I was lucky enough to get my hands on one and it came you know gift wrapped which is kinda cool I've never got a uh, gift wrapped thermostat before but anyway let's uh, do a quick unboxing and have a look at what's under the hood um, I'll put a link here once I have my full review of the Ecobee 3 but this is the first time I'm laying eyes on it so let's do it together so let's uh, undo the gift wrap here and see what's inside. Now, this is obviously, again, the Ecobee 3, meaning there have been a couple other versions of the Ecobee before. The original, which was actually the first smart thermostat on the market, was the Ecobee Smart. Uh, they followed that up with the Ecobee SI, which I refer to as the little brother of the original Ecobee Smart. And this now is the brand new version, the Ecobee 3. So right away, and I'd seen some box art of what the uh, what the box looked like, but this is just head and shoulders above the original box for the original Ecobee Smart. And in fact, I have um, an original Ecobee Smart here, so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of how they look once this is out of the box. But already, just from the box itself, I mean, you can tell what's neat here is that the box stacks and looks... Uh, on a shelf like it's a full picture so this obviously right away says it's designed more for the consumer market than the original versions were I know that the original versions of the Ecobee the smart and the SI were marketed more through commercial channels uh, commercial HVAC installers and contractors but the Ecobee 3 is clearly boxed and packaged and I have it on good authority that they are going direct to consumer with this so look to see these on shelves hopefully in big box uh, stores um, who knows, big retailers like Walmart or Target might be great too, but uh, I would I would expect to see boxes like this uh, in Home Depot and Lowe's and uh, Ace Hardware, who knows. Anyway, let's, uh, let's open up this pretty box and see what's inside. Ooh, first of all, it's a bright green, uh, bright green inside the box and it says, if you can see in there, welcome to the hive, kind of cool. Again, a big departure from the original just brown cardboard small boxes and uh, here we go up and away point the beat up and to the right oh, I'm gonna silence my phone there sorry about that all right I don't know what that means yet but I'm sure we'll find out but again nice presentation very kind of Apple iPhone vibe right and a lot of people are doing that these days so they want this unboxing to be kind of an event and you open it up and see something pretty so two pieces in here now this is something new uh, this is a wireless sensor, and it's designed to go somewhere other than the thermostat itself. And we'll talk about more of that in a minute, but let's get to the main event. This is the thermostat. Now, size-wise, let's compare this to the uh, original thermostat. It looks like it's you know, a little bit taller and not quite as wide. Um, it looks more modern, the all-black and the sleek. Uh, it's a little bit dusty. Let me rub it on my shirt here to get that dust off. Um, you know, it looks like a sleeker design, and the screen, boy, I can see more reflective, you can see my light there, a little more reflective. Um, I, it, for me, it's an upgrade on the looks, right? It's uh, This looks a little more industrial, this certainly looks more futuristic and like, uh, again, iPhone-ish, I hate to keep saying that term, but that's, that's kind of what it reminds me of, the black reflective kind of surface. Uh, already I can tell fingerprints are gonna be an issue, but uh, you know, that's an issue with anything, right? All right, so let's, uh, yeah, kind of see those side by side. Now let's uh, see what else is in the box. Take the wireless transmitter out and see what's under the hood. All right, so more of the plumbing, right? This is the little stand uh, for the wireless sensor, it looks like. It looks like that just clicks in there, I would imagine. Uh, mounting hardware. Again, I like this language-free packaging. It means you can sell it in a different countries and don't really have to worry about it. Ecobee is a um, Canadian-based company, and so... This way you don't have to do them in French and English. You just, you know, this is the stuff you need to mount the stuff on the wall. Looks like a molly bolt and a screw. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then I would imagine this is um, what they're calling, I believe it's the power extender kit. And this is to help you steal power from your 24 volt HVAC system to power your thermostat. Now one thing you will notice if you're familiar with the original Ecobee 
is there's no equipment interface or EI as it was called. That was uh, with this unit, uh, this connected on the wall in a little, uh, a little, you know, plastic basket, kind of like this, I would imagine. Um, and this slides into the wall, and the plugs are all here. And then this went to a separate, larger box that had more circuit boards on it. And that's what you wired directly to your HVAC unit. And then that ran four wires to the actual wall mount of thermostat, which had your sensors for temperature and humidity. That's no longer the case with the new Ecobee 3. This is the entire unit. All the circuitry that you need is inside this uh, unit. So uh, let's see. Oh, I noticed something right away really cool. A level built in. Um, please remove before installing your Ecobee 3. Yeah, so let's see. I'm not going to read the instructions. Well, and this being a review unit, maybe there weren't instructions in it. I did get a review guide, but of course I didn't read it. Uh, I will read it before I do my full review, but for the unboxing, I'm just going to see. Oh, look at that. Very easy uh, to pop the back off here. This is clearly uh, the mounting frame or bracket. Again, kind of a cute little consistent with the packaging. And this looks like what mounts on the wall. So what I like is it's got the little level in there. That uh, solves you from grabbing your iPhone and using the uh, level app, which is what I always do. And these are your standard connections, right? Your uh, red, green, yellow, white, um, your power, your comm, and an ACC plus and an ACC minus. So clearly the Ecobee 3 is going in the direction of supporting one external dry contact. And this can be a humidifier, it can be a ventilator. Um, it can be a dehumidifier, as I understand. I've used these for a humidifier at one location where I've run an Ecobee. And I've also used this uh, to connect to a dry contact sensor for a water sensor. I would imagine most people are going to use these for a ventilator or maybe a humidifier if you live in a part of the country that needs that. I'm here right now in the Pacific Northwest. We don't need a humidifier. But I've got a house in Utah where I've run an Ecobee, and that does indeed need a humidifier. Anyway, um, that's... You know, some people on some forums are talking about how that's a drawback of the Ecobee 3 and that you're missing out on the additional dry contacts. You know, if you're someone who uses multiple dry contacts, I guess you would see that. I would guess that's a minority of the market and that the majority of the market where this is clearly focused now is uh, going to be fine with just one. But if you're someone who needs more than one, then you know, you're probably going to have some gripes and maybe look at moving those other sensors or other connections to something more home automation integrated like a smart things hub or a vera hub or something like that anyway let's keep looking and uh already from the back i mean it's a lot cleaner right than the back of the old one you see lots of circuits and whiz bangs and capacitors and batteries here this is all kind of clean and tight um i don't know what this is so let's again i don't want to break anything so i don't want to push too hard but it looks like this is probably not designed for me to get in any deeper you know what this might be I had heard that they do have a an additional plug location on the Ecobee 3 for installing some future-proof antenna uh, this has two antennas inside it's got a 802.11 n I believe Wi-Fi adapter so that uh, this communicates via wireless on your network it's also got a proprietary 900 uh, megahertz range I think it's 915 for communicating with their low power sensors. And then a big question mark, something else that you could put inside. And maybe that's what this is for, is for whatever's gonna connect in later, I don't know. Again, I should probably read the manual, but this is an unboxing. This is, you unbox it and learn, right? Um, so it looks like this is, this is pretty straightforward. And so far I like what I see. And again, the power extender kit, I'll be messing with this. And we'll be doing a full review and an installation how-to, both for people who are moving to the Ecobee 3 from a traditional thermostat, as well as people who might be upgrading from uh, an original Ecobee smart thermostat with the equipment interface, how to migrate there. I'll be doing uh, separate articles on my blog. Now let's turn our attention to this little uh, wireless adapter. It looks, well, not wireless adapter, the uh, wireless sensor. This is designed to go in a different room. So from what I've read and what I've been told by Ecobee, this has a little sensor on the front here that senses motion in the room, but also proximity. If, if you're right in front of it, it'll light up and, and let you interact with it and knows you're right in front of it versus knows you're in the room. Uh, so this knows you're in the room and knows the temperature and humidity in the room. This is a motion sensor that knows you're in the room and also senses temperature, not humidity, but senses occupancy and temperature. And so how it's designed to work, as I understand, 
and my review will test it all out, of course, is that uh, let's say your kitchen is where your thermostat is, that's the case in my house, and your office is on the other end of the house, and your office gets really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer. That's the case with mine, because I don't have a zoned system, and my, uh, my vents in my office are the farthest away from the HVAC system. So I could put this in my office, and in fact, that's exactly what I will do for my testing, and this will sense the temperature of my office. And so if it senses motion in the office, but no motion in the kitchen, it will try to achieve the set point that I've set for my comfort in my office and ignore the one in the kitchen. If it doesn't sense anything in my office, but does sense motion or occupancy in the kitchen in the last however many minutes, it will optimize it will, will try to achieve the set point in the kitchen. Now, if it senses motion in both, what I understand is that we'll average them and try to kind of compromise and get somewhere that's somewhat comfortable in both places. It might be a little too cold in my office in the winter. It might be a little warmer than I want it uh, in the kitchen, but it won't be as cold in my office or as warm in the kitchen as maybe it otherwise would be. So I'm uh, excited to try this out. I think it's a neat approach. I don't know anybody else who's doing that. And uh, I guess time will tell how effective that is and how popular this is. Um, again, it comes with one of these. These are, I think, 80 bucks for a set of two more of these. You can buy them. I'm sure you can buy them direct from Ecobee, but I would imagine you'd be able to buy these, hopefully, on the shelves wherever you can find the thermostat as well. So that's the unboxing. Um, Pretty simple and straightforward. I I like what I see so far. I'm going to reserve, uh, you know, full fanboy judgment until I plug it in and get it going, get to test it, which I'll be doing doing later today. But I at least wanted to get on video and unboxing so that uh, the world can at least see what these look like. And uh, if you're doing pre-orders right now, kind of get a sense for you know the size and scale. I mean, I've got kind of an average size hand, so it's it's small. I like how it's more square. And uh, I think it'll look I think it'll look good on my wall. And I'll uh, take some pictures, obviously, for my review. So please check my blog for the full review. And uh, if the Ecobee is your thing, and I think it just might be, you want to save some money on your energy, your heating and cooling, and be able to kind of optimize the comfort in your house and do it in a way while you save money, Ecobee 3 might be the way to go.